Okay, so what we're looking at here is just a quick example of how to use the electromagnet uh, equation. And uh, so we write down the equation first before we get started, just because we, we know we're going to be using it in this case. B equals mu and I over L. Okay, so it says Brandon is designing an electromagnet used to uh, basically... Um, used by a crane in the scrap metal yard, she needs to make the strength of the field at least 350 Tesla. She wraps 5,000 turns of insulated copper around a piece of steel. The coils are packed into a length of just 75 centimeters. Calculate the amount of current in amps uh, needed to achieve this required field strength. So um, we start off with our equation here, and we know that we have the inf given information that we have is the magnetic field strength is 350 Tesla. The number of wrapped number of wrapped coils is 5,000. Um, the length or the density of it in this case is 0 0.75 meters. And we're trying to figure out what the current is. And we know that we're using steel. And if we look at a chart, a permeability chart for the permeability mu for steel, it's 8.75 times 10 to the minus 4. Okay. So the first step is to look at the equation like this and realize that what we're trying to isolate for is I right here. So we're going to do this by cross multiplication. Um, so we're going to multiply both sides by L. So if I multiply this side by L, um, then the L is divided out. And I've, I've basically am multiplying this side by L. Since it's mu times N on the top, top, I can basically divide by mu times N on the bottom, which means I have to divide this side by mu times N. So the rearranged formula would be B times L over mu n which equals i okay so now what we can do is once we've got that we are just going to substitute in the values so oftentimes people like to see it written like this so the magnetic field is 350 notice i've put brackets in it's really important uh, especially for other situations where negatives might come into play uh, so it's always good to include those in there And this is 8.75 times 10 to the minus 4. And the number of turns is 5,000. So the required current in this case is 350. So the way I do it, since it's all just multiplication and division, I do 350 times 0.75. Then I divide it by 8.75. And I hit my EXP button or... Uh, you know, times, times 10 to the power of button. And in, it's usually, it's easier just to hit the EXP button or the EE button on your calculator uh, for negative and then divide by the 5,000. And I end up with a current of 60 amps, which is actually quite high. And there we go. So therefore the current required is 60 amps. So again, when you're using your calculator, um, when you're typing in the 8.75, there's often an EE button that you would press or an EXP button that you would press. And both of these buttons basically take it and make it to the power of whatever you want. So you would type EE4 minus or EXP negative 4, EXP4 negative. And that will put it into the 10 to the minus 4 uh, all for you. Okay, so that's all you need to do. And uh, solving these questions, um, you may want to go through and just practice rearranging for different variables. Maybe try and rearrange for L um, in each case. But what you want to do is start out writing the original equation. Then you should move to rearranging correctly, substituting in your values, and getting your final solution. Put a box around it, and it will therefore statement. I also include the, the given information. And as part of it as well, I often underline the key information so I know what I'm looking for in the question. So I can get rid of all the words, really, and kind of look at what's actually required for this type of uh, plug-and-play situation.